plenty of shots. Uh, you know, before the game, somebody said you're gonna outshoot them. You'd have been pretty happy with that, wouldn't you, Ben? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I said, uh, after you know the quick penalty in the first period, that kind of put us back on their heels. Wisconsin converted pretty quickly on that. Um, great to get Sid's goal there to balance it out. But the first period was just it was a little um, just up and down. And then I thought we came out well in the second. Obviously. Got a lot of pucks to net, but you know Wisconsin did a really good job of taking away the middle too. Um, a lot of outside shots and trying to get things done by the goal line. And uh, Campbell played really well today. So, um, yep, happy with the amount of shots that we got, but ultimately you need the goal, so it's still frustrating. She was just real sound, wasn't she? I didn't see a lot of like super spectacular saves, but just real sound. Yeah, she got her glove on a lot of. Uh, well as I've seen her play this year, which is good for them moving on. Um, and I think, again, her team played well in front of her too. They really took away the middle from us. And as you were mentioning, just like try to be creative, move to the middle of the ice. There wasn't a lot there, but uh, I thought we got at them. Uh, I liked our entry plays, some speed up the middle once we sort of settled into the game. Um, but again, not enough, not enough goal scoring and too many went in. Coach, uh, you know, how do you replace all your seniors, but in particular those two? It's tough. That's tough. I don't know that you do right away. I think it takes some time, took some time for them to become the players that they were. Um, and, you know, I think they're tremendous people and athletes. So they've certainly left a mark on our program, just like the rest of their classmates. And, you know, talking with our staff afterwards, our program is in a much better place than it was when they came in as freshmen. And uh, we come to these tournaments now expecting to win games. We're not just happy to make the final face off. And I think that is because of that class um, and, and, you know, what they brought to our program. So to replace them will be, will be tough, but I know we have quality people in our program that are coming up and they're ready to step up. It's just, you know, some people are, maybe irreplaceable. Can you adjust the game? I would think after the success at that final regular season weekend, um, coming out and, and putting them down early, getting those early goals, did you have to adjust anything when Wisconsin scored so quickly? Did you make any adjustments? Not really, no. I think uh, we actually had scored the first goal in, I, I want to say, like the last 10 games or so, and we didn't win them all. So it's nice to get the momentum at the start, but like that game was just up and down all the way, you know, do we have a two goal lead and it goes away and you score early and then they come back. So I think what that does for us though, in these moments is it um, makes us feel uh, calm and confident because, hey, we've been up, we've been down, it just is. And you just focus on the next shift and continue to play the way we want to play. You don't have to push, you don't have to panic. Um, and when it happens so early like that, it's almost easier to put it behind you um, and move on. Did these entry players getting frustrated at all when, when the goals weren't coming, when they were getting those shots and not finding the lanes? Not, not badly. That, I, I would say the, the season we've been battle tested, right? The seven period overtime last weekend. If you're gonna get frustrated at not scoring a goal, that's the game. <laughs> Uh, where it happens, but I think we've been through so much and they are really good at just sticking with it. And um, I thought their frustration was fairly low considering the magnitude of the situation we were in. Coach, this would have been a better question for Sid, but uh, what can you say about the way they all gathered around Maddie after the, after the game? Oh, I didn't see it. What happened? Oh, they just, just a big group hug, basically. Yeah. And it's longer than normal. Yeah. It, this group loves each other. Um, I think that's one of our strengths is how well we get along. And I think, you know, that's just a, that's a little glimpse for the outside world into what we have in our program. And that's what makes it special. That allows us to compete with the best teams in the country is the way that we play for each other um, and the bulldog on the, on the front of our jersey and that it's genuine. And uh, that's, that's nice that you got Kind of makes cowards of us all. And when it got to be 3 1, I think a lot of teams would have started to pack it in at that point. But I thought your team got more competitive from that point. Yeah. What, what
What can you say about their responses to the situation? Yeah, I think people were worried that we were going to be tired from last weekend. And as they said, you know, if anything, it helped. That's such a uh, unifying experience to go through the three-game series and the overtimes and all that. So uh, from a life standpoint, I think we were fine. From a mental fatigue standpoint, I think we were fine. And uh, I'd say our response when we were down 3-1 was the same when we were down 2-1, when we were down 1-0. And I think that's good because if you start to panic and you grip it too tight, you try to do something maybe outside of what you should be doing. And uh, that's, we just want everybody to do their jobs, play your game, don't try to do something superhuman here. Um, and I think we got the best out of all of our players. I thought everybody brought it, everybody was ready to go. So it's a tough, tough loss. Second period, you all play them, and you go from 2-1 to 3-1. Mm -hmm. A little deflating? scoreboard obviously you don't want to go down by two goals but I think we were still believing in ourselves that you know you just take one just chip away at it get one let's make this three two and I think it would have been a, a completely different ball game but we just never never were able to convert Are you a little bit close? 